Britney Spears finally admits a decade-long rumor that she did indeed cheat on Justin Timberlake. But she also said he cheated on her too. So then who cheated on who first? What's up, y'all? It's your boy Pascal back at it again with another pop-up video. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias, The Pascal Show, one word. Hit that like button down below. And let's not forget to crush that subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on Facebook, please be sure to crush that follow button on my Facebook page if this is your first time checking out this channel right here. Yeah, anyway, we got to jump into this story. As you already know, Britney Spears has a memoir coming out in just a few more days. The memoir is called The Woman in Me. And she is dropping some serious bombshells, especially things revolving around her then relationship or her past relationship with Justin Timberlake. We've heard things about the a procedure that she took when she was with child, in which, of course, it was Justin Timberlake's child, and then some. We are now hearing that the decades-long rumor that's been out here in these streets is actually true. She did indeed cheat on Justin Timberlake and it could very well be the reason why Justin Timberlake made his hit debut song Cry Me a River I mean if you look at the music video itself bruh it's kind of hard to get around the fact that that's Britney Spears and he's claiming that she cheated on him okay but she admits the cheating but then she also says that Justin Timberlake cheated on her too. And I know it, it doesn't matter, you know, two wrongs don't make a right and all that stuff. But at the same time, it does make you wonder, what's the timeline? Who did what first? But that's not what we're here for. We're here for this, which is still absolutely crazy. Let's take a look at this article here. All right. She admits to cheating on her ex-boyfriend Justin Timberlake with dancer Wade Robson and if you don't know who Wade Robson is he is a choreographer he choreographed some of her music videos like I'm a slave for you and oops I did it again he even I think if I'm correct had a TV show on MTV uh, like a dance competition TV show on MTV for like a hot minute uh, so he was hosting that for a second. And he's also one of the people that is coming out, sp speaking out against Michael Jackson and these and accusing him, Michael Jackson, of doing these really, really terrible things. But I digress. OK, just so you guys get a better understanding of who Wade Robson is. OK, so the 41 year old pop star is getting candid about her private life in the pages of her new memoir the M woman in me which of course is supposed to be coming out next tuesday all right october 24th it is rumored britney and justin split up in 2002 after three years of dating because she had a fling with australian choreographer wade justin re later released his single his famous infamous hit single cry me a river which includes lyrics that allude to being cheated on. So, Britney confirms in her memoir that she did indeed kiss Wade during a night out. She actually says this in her book here. Allegedly, we don't have the book yet, but this is what they're saying that she wrote. We were out one night, and we went to a Spanish bar. We danced and danced. I made out with him that night. Brittany also writes that she was loyal to Justin for years, with that one exception. The star revealed she told Justin about the, the kiss with Wade, and they were able to move past it and stay together. In 2001, Wade choreographed, choreographed her iconic Oops, I Did It Again, I'm a Slave for You music videos, as well as her Live from Vegas concert special. So she was working very closely with Wade for a good long time. Like I said, two wrongs don't make a right. Her going out here and cheating on him is not good. And of course, let's be real. You got somebody who has that type of experience of being cheated on they're going to use that opportunity to hold on to that, write it in, in their journal, put it in their back pocket for a rainy day, and maybe end up going into the studio and saying, hey, you know, I, I still just can't get over the fact that I was cheated on, blah, blah, blah. The breakup was really hard, whatever it may be. 
But no matter what, we got a hit song out of it that we all know the words to. Well, majority of us know the words to. But also she says here that Justin Timberlake cheated on her too with another known pop star. And I keep wondering, wh when did this timeline, what's the timeline here? Who did what? Who started this cheating issue? Was it her and then he retaliated or the other way around? You know, I, I guess the only way we're going to find out is if we, is when we get the actual book. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. This is pretty crazy. It just goes to show to you, man, that sometimes the streets out here are right. Crazy, right? The streets are always watching. The streets are always listening. And the streets are always talking. Comment down below. Hit that like button down below. Don't forget to crush that subscribe button. And most definitely do not forget to hit that follow button over on my Facebook page if you're watching over there. It'd be great to have you a part of the Pascal Show family on both platforms. Anyway, it's time to get going. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is the Pascal Show. Bye. P-A-S-C-A-L. You are now rocking with that dude, Pascal. We be going wild.